Hey guys, welcome back to my playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. The previous episode was a lot. We finally robbed the bank in Valentine and things actually went pretty well for once. We got like 20k out of that and I've just looked up how much that would be today and it's over 650,000 so that's pretty good. We then robbed a banking coach with Micah. There was a lot of robbing in the previous episode. He is now currently at our camp, by the way, which really sucks since we stopped right after Dutch and him proposed the idea to us to rob the two big families, the Grace and the Grave Waits, and I obviously think that is an insanely stupid idea. We now have three things we can do, and I think we'll be starting off by doing John's mission, but before we do that, I want to give a huge thank you to my channel members. Thank you guys for joining me for today's episode. Let's get into it. Lost a goddamn war. Lost my sweetheart, cholera, and my leg to a goddamn cannonball. Morning. <laughs> hey! Hey, it's good to see you again, friend. But, uh, what you doing here? Just visiting old friends, I guess. Yeah, something well, like that. You better get out of here. There's a, there's a bunch of government agents I met. Asking about you all across town. Yeah, them and a bunch of bounty hunters, too, I think. Uh, so. Okay. Yeah, yeah but <laughs> you don't seem too scared. Guess not. Well, they seem pretty mad. <laughs> What'd you do? Nothing good. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I acquired you get some out money. Of here. <laughs> Thanks for warning me. Okay, my girl. My girl. I love how he talks to his horses. Okay, John shouldn't be too far away. I have a really bad feeling about all of this. Man, this game is so pretty. Hey, mister. That's one nice looking horse you got there. How Thanks, about we lady. see how fast it is? Oh. First one of Catfish Jackson's. Sure. I mean, I Why guess. Not? Ready? Let's go. Where is that? Oh my goodness. It's right here. Well, guess John has got to wait. For a bit. What did you expect, lady? Oh my goodness! Nah, -uh. all about that, huh? What's happening? Y'all think she's gonna be fast if I shoot her? Probably not. there wait what happened to her where is she we're there we're there come on come on come on i'm surprised <laughs> i won honestly you okay how's that feel darn it damn horse acting up on me of all the times sure <sighs> sure must be the horse. Be safe must, out there. must be the horse. Yeah, you too. Okay, I guess we go back. Good race. Could have gone either way. I wish things was different, but hey. You're fine, lady. 
Easy there. Oh shit. Guys, I found it. <laughs> Another part of the map. Behold. So, where's the little... Little note. Oh, here. Thanks. Making a point with you. <laughs> uh. Wait, what? Safe? All right, so this is not complete. We still need a few pieces. Piece together map. Wait, that's it? All three pieces of the map have been completed. Use the map to locate the killer's hiding place. Okay. Wait a second. No, not the journal. Oh, there we go. I see. Okay, I'm not entirely sure. Can you find me? I am not sure, but I feel like I've seen this basement thingy already. Like I've tried to open it and I think there was a lock. I tried to shoot it or something and it didn't work. So maybe that was the reason for that. I don't know where that is. Oh, sir, just in time. Hello. I'm lost out here and I ain't got no food and no water. Uh, why not? Oh, you're a good man. A good man. Ah! Whoa! Hey. Really? Had to ask for help, you think huh? that was a good idea? Okay, wait a second. Which weapon is in poor condition? This one. Time to clean it. There we go. Where's my horse? I mean, I am allowed to loot him, right? He brought that on himself. Thanks. There we go. Finally. Horse flesh for dinner. Can I help you there? Sure. I'm supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. All right, then. Are we still deputized? Wait. The star. It's missing. No. up in this town and you're helping everybody and everywhere there's trouble who are you like i said we had a run of bad luck in the west lost some <laughs> money on a failed railway speculation we heard good men can do well in this country sure and bad men we haven't recovered as much as i hope from the war my family try. 
My sons are good boys, but it's been hard. Like I said, some people in the area will hold us back forever. We need stability. <laughs> I'm sure. We're an old Scottish family. We work. My daddy taught that to me. I taught my sons. Work hard, but fair. <laughs> you done yapping? Boop. Hello. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. <laughs> oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That Ooh. ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. <laughs> I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses. Easy. And where That's do we a lot sell of money. these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Whoa. Uh -oh. Y'all want to say anything about that? You think this is a good idea? Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. You don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. $5,000 for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay then, but head on up to the stables. Really? Is that easy? Someone will come see ya. I guess anyone can become a guard now. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. Don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Relájate. All right, I 
think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. Remember when we were here All and right, I sold the boat? Hitch up here. Did good, girl. Let me do the talking. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here, you Scarface and your greaser buddy? Whoa! I don't like officials. Why? We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. That's what you're interested in? What is you boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. This here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Cerberus is a real reliable I want to kill stud. him. Fathered many a race winner. This one's uh, old faithful. <laughs> he was a champion, briefly. I don't want to kill his him. Leg, didn't you, boy? Amazing runner, though. He's up for sale for a decent price. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, greaser, huh? Why are you gonna okay. kill him? Bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing. <laughs> All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy, Easy now. Easy. You're okay. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we'll regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go. There we Quick. go. Get going, you two. I'll watch the What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We'll be around! Oh, shit. Okay, stop these men! Stop! Oh, oh. It's terrible. More coming this way. Out of the fields. Watch out by that wagon. More of them. What happened to lying low and just chilling? Shit! One of the stallions is loose! Keep going! I'll get him! Easy there. Hey, easy now. Gotcha! Hey, hey! There we go. 
You come with me. Hey Morgan! Over here! You got him! Well done! Clemens Cove's just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. Yep, way That'll smoother. Be on my gravestone. Come on now. Probably yes. You think they look like they're paying five thousand for horses? I guess we'll see. Hey now. Oh my goodness. There's blood on the horse. Oh boy. Hello. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you paid good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. So what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Can y'all stop Ooh, the small funny. talk? He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours. Oh. But I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you 654. <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. I was so. told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But I like you boys, but I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're going to need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. You could have just kept the horses for yourself. But also 650 is not too shabby. Leave the yarn spun us by one of that gray family. And imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. Yep. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Ah. <sighs> You can sell horses to Clay and Clive. Oh, okay. Hey, Molly. We've not talked in a while. So, Arthur, is it true about the bad luck? What, what? bad luck? I just broke my pocket mirror, and I remember me old ma saying that a broken mirror means seven years bad luck. Seven years? We won't see seven years out. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. But if I find a mirror on my adventures, I'll bring it back for you. Oh, wait. Thank you, Arthur. Do we maybe have one already? Okay. We don't. Well, let's talk more later. Okay. Okay. Fine. A mirror. Hey, Mary Beth. Good morning, Arthur. My lady. You okay? You don't seem yourself. Yes, I'm all right. Why? Okay, just making sure. Sounds good. Damn right, it's okay. Hello, what is going on here? Stay Bill? out of this, Morgan. No, the I don't want to stay out of this. Respect. Whatever you say. Half shit. You okay, Lenny? I'm fine. 
Just ignore that son of a bitch. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, officer. Didn't seem fine to me. Oh boy, what was that? You gotta find us some food or some money, Arthur. I know. Okay, Abigail, I'm trying. What was that, Bill? Wanna talk about this? What the hell was that? The kid's got no respect. Why? It's what did he do? Lacking respect, as far as I can see. All right, well, I should be getting on. That's all. Arthur, Arthur. What is it? What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. Well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. <laughs> Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who what? he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Yeah. Of course. What else? Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Please don't hurt your horse again, Arthur. Please. You coming? There we go. Where are we going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Yep. I'm in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> so, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Yeah, but they don't know that. Of course. Trelawney. I've only met him a couple times, but he's... He's a strange one. Fear not. He's just a cockroach in fancy britches. <laughs> but he gets into nooks and crannies the rest of us can't. We just need to find him before he scurries off again. Why is Trelawney never in camp? I think he thinks of himself as someone who's better than the rest of the camp, honestly. At least that's what it looked like and sounded like the last times we saw him. Yep, no trouble in roads. Just, I think it's just up here. anywhere else. Trelawney's caravan? He lives here? Isn't that the fence of roads? Someone got here first. So it seems. By the oh. looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Okay, wait a second. Let's start off here. Uh, 
Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. What do you think? Tacitus Kilgore Mining Company Certificate. This is to certify that is the holder of there? shares inclusive in the above company subject to the provisions of the memorandum and articles of association thereof and that the sum of one dollar has been paid on each of the said shares found anything okay this food barely touched looks like he left in a hurry a cigar Oh, there's blood. That ain't good. Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd say. I guess Tracks. maybe uh, 12 Come hours on. ago. Not yet. There's some blood here. That ain't good. We should get going. Oh, there's footprints. And then they stop abruptly. Okay. Was there anything else in here? I don't think so. Yep. Let's get going. Mm. Oh, wait a second. Before we continue... I'm gonna use a cigar. Tap here. How's your tracking these days? Pretty good. All right, I guess. <laughs> well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. Yeah. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. I noticed they that about him. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. Hey, look. They continue on the other side of the tracks. Huh. They seem to head into the forest now. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Hey, get back on your horse. Is that Trelawney? Why Excuse would I get me. back on my horse? Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, have you seen him? Oh. <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. <laughs> You seen a strange sort of feller, sort of formal? Strange, sure. Formal, nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Ooh. Nah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? We both better get out of here. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> You are. We're uh, talking now, huh? You doing this? You stay there. Uh, where is Trelawney? I don't know anything. Oh, you're about to know. Tell me where he is. You go to hell. You better tell me now, you son of a bitch. Okay, okay, for Christ's sake. They took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Ah. 
let me see you again, you hear me? You got lucky there, my friend. What? That's a lot of money. I'm glad I did that. Holy, holy. What? Didn't expect that much money. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Oh, okay. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. <laughs> he don't know where we're holed up, though. At least That's I don't good. think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. Yep. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. Cornfields. We should be there, almost. Oh, there it is. What would they want from him? Get some info about our whereabouts? That must be it. Is, after that oh. shack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Uh, uh, is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Where was he? Seconds. They've gone into the cornfields. We need to flush them out. Damn these sons of bitches. I hear you. You with your silly little hat, the audacity to behave more, like Charles. that with this hat. I mean, come on. I'm gonna leave you. Look at the birds. Go that way. There's so much money. While we're at it. Q. 
he should be somewhere here. Oh. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. Take him. Let me get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Nice one, Charles. Come on. You should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Uh, well, we can still loot him. Thank you. No. Gunshots are coming from that barn. Come on. Nice weapon. Do you? All right, let's go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Nice. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on, let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery. The amount of money they I have is insane. brought with them. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held True. this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. You okay? We're Frank. Well, never fine. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunter. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me. No. Oh. What'd you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course. They didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep here. <laughs> it might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Really? Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Wow. I think it's time for Frank to finally get a better saddle. And from what I can tell, this one's the best one. It's a bit expensive, but we're at over 5k, so you know, it doesn't really matter. You there's nothing a drunk rider coming in here. The things they do to their horses, it ain't right. Okay. Saddle back. I think I'm just gonna make this one black. That's a good choice. High quality. 
stirrups. Oh yeah, oh. that's a smart choice for your saddle. Oh wow. I'm. I think I'm gonna get this. It's well worth the price. I can tell. I like that. Let's get this. And appearance. Main. This what? Horse will pass for no, <gasps> when I'm through. no way. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna give you braids. Oh my goodness. We changed the hair color. That's amazing. Wait, that is so cool. That looks really nice. Or maybe this. Handled, cared for, and trained more horses than anyone wow. else in the state. You ask around. You know what? I think I'm gonna go for this. Uh, nice. That's so cool. Tail. No Regular. Armor, your horse up. Short, long braids. You know what? Let's do braids and do the same hair color. <laughs> I think that's cool. A good choice. Okay. There we go. Wait, that is so cool. My horse is so pretty. I love this. Okay. Come on, girl. Frank. It's time to get to Hosea. You beautiful thing, you. Howdy. Hello. Hey there, mister. Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. Really? Is that easy? Thanks. Please come in, sir. Wow. This way, joys sir. Of tobacco. This place. A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other. You took Sean to this. Hello, Hello ma'am. <laughs> Arthur, welcome. We we're just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks. <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think hey, so well, there. he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we could take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, going to Caliger Hall. Metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth <laughs> monkeys, after all. <laughs> Whoa. Hop on. I'll fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. Fine. Can I just take a look? I'm sure there would be a lot of stuff to steal here. Are we going there? It's close. I thought you Can't to drive. interact with anything. Okay, fine, fine, Sean. I'm sorry. Sometime today would be nice, Morgan. This place is just very pretty. Okay. Let me enjoy the fine things of life, please. Sean. All right, let's get this over with. So what exactly you are we doing? There. Took everything I had. That son of horse. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? Yeah. She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? 
What? Using that back there. Moonshine. Born's fast. I didn't care to see that stuff. Said it'd be fitting. She did. And y'all just said yes to that? Oi, toy, fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. Those here really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't they? Right? He was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere. He reckons I'm in. I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really barely so bloody money at the end of all this. Yeah. Jose knows what he's doing. We're doing too much he here. The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. Oh, Just shit. Just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, well. we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Oh, shit. The wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery, that's all. Just okay. leave it to me. We can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. Things are going too smoothly. But also not really well, since we're not getting the profits we were hoping for. But so far, nobody's on our ass. Thank God these two families don't talk. Oh, hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here. I'll go hide and back if you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. <laughs> I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> it's going to be pretty hard for him. Oh, no. Nice POV you got yeah. there. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. You want, boy? I've, uh, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, Sean, a friend, here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> Sean, know. you're terrible at I mean, this. No harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal, in, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I, I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, 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 before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, how did that work? Drink. Sean. <coughs> Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, it's straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I never been a feather to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. Oh, you don't say. Bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. What? Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? 
Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <coughs> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> Why the place you yeah. boys have got here? <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses there, uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy, because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man sups on shite, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, Hamish. Okay. You can hold up in here till it gets dark. How you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. Maybe we should just not. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine. And then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Are we getting paid for this, Look, or...? Once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was born burning down manor houses. We'll burn quietly. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Let's get this job done first, okay? Just let me deal with our friend here. You douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. I'm trying. Turn around for me. Wow. Can't believe that worked. That's good. That should do it. Careful, careful. Should be enough for here. I can't believe we're doing this. Every single mission today has been like what are we doing? No. 
Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. The barn. Are you gonna turn around? Or do I have to, like... Okay, keep going, keep going. Go, go, go. I don't know who that is. Oh, Sean. I'm gonna douse this too. Oh, wow. Wait a second. Thanks, you. Uh, cigarettes. We've got too many cigarettes. Let's get rid of. All the cigarettes. Especially the premium ones. Light her up. Wait. No. Nice. Is that a fireball, right? Would you look at that? Yeah. Now let's burn those bloody fields to the ground. I got the red head. Get the hell out of here, fast! You right, follow me! 
Yes, this is my horse now. There's no way in hell we are getting away with this. He's a good shot. Duchess put us into the middle of here. Uh, but at what cost? I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Sure. Why not? Very, very, very bad plan. Very, very bad idea. They could just live a chill life if they wouldn't constantly mess shit up, you know? Like, it would be so easy for them to find normal, regular jobs and just settle down. Will do. Hey, you got any tobacco? I'm well, for the smoke. that was some money. Braithwaite Maynard. I've had some charming women in my time. Catherine Braithwaite, the mother, hand to that particular bunch of roosters and one of them. A sore old jug of piss and bullshit I never met. Even Hosea's charms were lost upon her. She refused our offer of selling her back her shine and instead got us to give it away to annoy the saloon owners in town. Hosea put on quite a show until we got interrupted by the bastards we robbed when grabbing this stuff. We just about escaped. On the other hand, I met this poor bastard gray boy, Bo. And his forbidden love, Miss Penelope. Quite the most alike creature we have met down here. Suddenly, I'm marching as a suffragette. The looks of loathing on the faces of the locals delighted me, while their leader, a Mrs. Calhoun, amused me. I don't know much about good causes nor the joys of democracy, but I enjoyed my little experience riding alongside them. World is certainly changing fast. Found yet another body. Some maniac is killing these people for sport. Guess I'm going to pay him or her a visit. Right, if we ever find out where they are. We went horse thieving, our greed getting the better of us. Believe the yarn spun us by one of that grey family, the patriarch, Travis. A particularly unpleasant one of what seems a reasonably unpleasant family. He had us believing that the Braithwaite woman owned some highly priced English thoroughbreds or Arab chargers or whatever they were supposed to be. And imagined we... Was going to be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots, so I guess at least some prizes was being handed out. Charles and I went looking for Trelawney, who was staying in Rhodes. He'd been accosted by some bounty hunters who was looking for him and a means to getting to us. Whole thing turned nasty and he'd been treated pretty bad, but we got him out of there. He seemed worried that there might be more following in their way, so came back to camp with us. Should we be trusting Trelawney, by the way? He's not been in camp for a very, very long time. I don't know. There always seems to be more. Bounty hunters, Pinkertons, lawmen. Everywhere we go, there's more and more civilization. Perhaps this is it from now. We shall see, I guess. This whole place is beginning to give me the creeps. I want to get back in the open country of the West or what's left of it. But even that ain't the way I remember it. Okay, y'all, that was a crazy episode. Whatever happened to laying low and staying out of troubles, not using our weapons, being... Good boys, whatever happened to that? And it's definitely gonna bite us in the ass at some point. Like, I'm just waiting for something really bad to happen since we've been doing just 
so much shit. And now we also have Trelawney in our camp, which is something new and something we should keep in our minds since he's not been in camp ever since we moved to Rhodes and he was just captured by bounty hunters and we don't know what he told them. We do have a mission with Trelawney and another one with Micah right now as I'm seeing on the map. But all it says in the description is that these two are trying to talk to me. So I don't know what they want, but I'm kind of looking forward to these missions for the next episode since we've not been able to spend that much time with these two characters. And I just like to get to know them a bit more, even though Micah is absolutely horrible and his mission is probably gonna get us into a lot of trouble and it's gonna be terrible but whatever i'm still pretty excited anyways i gotta go now edit the previous episode that i've recorded since i've not started editing that yet i really wanted to continue playing so yeah i better get going thank you guys so so much for watching today's episode and for continuing to join me on this journey and as always i will see you in my next one bye guys